Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Art at Home. My name is Mrs. Pingle and I'm a high school art teacher. I'm making a lot of my art lessons that I would normally be doing into video form because of the current state of everything, but I do have some experience with teaching online, so I'm hoping I can just pull that experience into my present work situation and we'll make it work. Anyway, today's video is going to be a what's in my bag art edition. So this is my just normal drawing bag. It doesn't have anything in here that I wouldn't use for just like a normal sketching practice. So uh, without further ado, let's jump on into it. <laughs> Okay, so I'll start off with the bag itself. I liked this because it had that kind of woven texture to it and I tend to just like neutral colors, but I got this at the Grand Valley State University bookstore, so I don't think they still sell it anymore. But I'll go ahead and empty it all out and then just kind of quickly sort through all of these to put them in order. Alright, so the first thing I will show you is my pencil sharpener with a lid. It's Academic is the brand and it's nice because a lid kind of keeps all of the shavings in one spot. I can't remember where I got that though and I don't know where this one came from either but this is a metal pencil sharpener and the reason that's nice is it's more durable so it's less likely to break but it also doesn't have a lid so there's a little drawback. This is my 6B graphite pencil. It's part of my Derwent set that has 12 pencils in it. I don't remember where it came from, but I know you can buy it from Amazon or basically any art supply store. I have two number two pencils from Staples, which are good um, just as a very kind of baseline drawing pencil. I don't use them too often unless I'm doing it for a video to kind of demonstrate how you can use them. This is just a Papermate red pen because I am a teacher, so gotta have my red pen. I also have a few of these Papermate Flare felt tip pens and when you write with these or draw with these, the ink spreads slightly so it kind of gives that fuzzy texture to all the lines you create, which is kind of cool. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love my Studler Mars Plastic retractable eraser pen. It's super helpful for erasing tiny details that you wouldn't want to try to do with a larger eraser. Next, I have just a few Sharpies. I like to use these when I want a really dark, bold outline or a possibly a silver metallic one to add some shine or like reflections into an artwork. That's really handy for that. But over here, I have my Sakura brand Micron 03 archival ink pen. This is one of my favorite things to ink a project with. It just is very easy to control and allows for really delicate line work. This is a Bic mechanical pencil with 0.7 millimeter graphite and it says number two, so you know that number two equals HB in the value scale. I like to use these for thin lines and tiny details. Here I have my normal size Studler Mars plastic eraser. It's the exact same type of eraser as the retractable eraser pen, but it's just for larger mistakes that you wouldn't want to waste your pen on. Last, I have a brand new set of Jelly Roll white gel pens in the 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 1.0 millimeter sizes. It's the Sakura brand. You can see from the little cherry blossom logo here, and that is the exact same brand as the Micron pens, so I can definitely vouch for that brand. They're really good quality. That's all I have for this video, everybody. So if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button or to hit the like button if you liked this video and check out all of the affiliate links I've listed in the description box so that you can find these materials for yourself. Bye guys.